All right, in the next 60 seconds, we're gonna show you the five hustle moves you wanna learn next. So, my name is Miss Emily, this is Miss Megan from Social Dance Online. We are gonna start with a whip. We have and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, into a cuddle, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, into a hammerlock, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, sliding doors, two, three, and one, 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 into a grapevine, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. All right, let's break down the whip. So if you've done West Coast Swing, which most of you probably have or have been uh, introduced to it, this is very much like a whip with an inside turn. So from here, we're gonna rock back. We have and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. So if we showed it from the other side, we have and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. Sorry, didn't it all right, leaders, so here's your footwork. We're gonna rock back with our left foot first. We have and one, we step to the side for two, cross in front for three. Now from here, we will have already taken our partner. We're gonna take a slight angled step for the and one, and one, side again for two, cross in front for three, and then we're back to our back rock for and one. So one more time, we've got and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. Followers. Your footwork, we're going to rock back. So we have and one, we're stepping forward two, turning over our right shoulder for three. Then we have a rock back and one. Now we're gonna turn over our left shoulder, two, back, three. And that's where we're gonna start again. We have and one, forward two, turn three, and one, turn two, three. All right, leaders, so how do we lead this move? We are gonna make sure that we have the right hand active and look for our follower's shoulder blade. So from here, we have and one, two, three, still doing that J-hook that we're used to for the whip. Then we have our rock back and one. We're gonna flip the hand and rotate our partner for two, three, and then we're back to our normal position and one. So we'll do that one more time. We have and one, bring her in, two, three, and one, two three and one. Followers, it's very helpful to have this arm kind of up out of the way. That way when you get led into this move, it is in a good position to go up on the leader's shoulder. Plus it's just fun to do arm lines. That too. All right, now we're ready for the cuddle in and out. So let's go ahead and show it first. We have and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. So leaders, we're staying pretty stationary here, but we do have a lot going on with our arms. Let's go ahead and talk about that. So we are gonna rock back with our left foot. We have both hands for this one. And one, we're gonna take a slight step forward for two, two, back for three. Now we should both be in our cuddle position at this point. We're gonna do our rock back with our left foot still. And one, we lift the le left arm again, two, side for three, and then we're back to our back rock. So if we did that one more time without stopping, we have and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. Miss Megan, your turn. Followers, we are going to go into a cuddle position. So if you've done any other ballroom dance, you've probably been in a cuddle position. We rock back, we have and one. We're turning over our left shoulder, two, back, three. Now we have the and one again. And one, we're going forward for two, turning over our right shoulder for three. So let's do that again. We have and one, turning two, three, and one, two, three. All right, leaders and followers, how do we do the cuddle in and out? So leaders, we are gonna have two hands like we talked about earlier. We are going to make sure that the left arm comes up, the right arm for us stays low so that when Miss Megan or your partner gets into that cuddle position, this arm is not in a weird uh, twerk, which we might talk about in the next move. So from here, we're gonna make sure that we lift the left arm, keep the right arm down. So we have and one, two, three and one lift, two, three and one. So really the left arm for us leaders is the only one working on this move. Followers, try to make sure that as you're being led into this, you have and one, two, three, that you don't just like squinch yourself. Make sure you maintain your shape uh, and connection to your partner. And then we have and one, two, three to come out. 
All right, now let's go ahead and talk about the hammer lock. So from here, it's an outside <coughs> turn for our follower. We have and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. If we showed it from the other direction, we have and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. All right. Leaders, uh oh, <laughs> lost a little fuzzy part. So, lost my prop. All right, leaders, let's talk about the hammerlock footwork. So, we are still going to have our two hands. This time, we're leading her into an outside turn. The left arm is coming up and the right arm is coming down. But let's talk about our feet first. So, we have our back rock for and one. We're going to step forward for two, side for three. Then, this is going to be a slight back rock on a diagonal. And one, we step side for two back for three, and then our back rock, and one. So if we did that a little bit faster, we have and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. Miss Megan, you're up. Followers, a lot of our footwork is just going back and forth, like we've been doing this whole time. All right, so we're gonna do an outside turn this time. We have and one, we step forward two, turn over our right shoulder for three. On a slight angle, we're gonna rock again. And one, now we're turning over our left shoulder, two, three. If we did that again, we have and one, two, three, and one, two, three. It's going to be an outside to an inside turn for our follower. And again, we're going to talk about the left arm uh, lifting and the right arm coming down. Now, with that right arm, we'll just baby step around. We want to make sure that it goes down and up, but it does not come at that same level and hurt our partner. So we wanna make sure that that right arm goes low and then goes to the small of her back. Then the left arm has to go up at the same time. So in real time, we have and one up and over two, three, and one, two, three, and one. All right, sliding doors time. So if you've done East Coast or Rumba or Cha Cha, you might have seen these before. Now we're gonna do them for hustle. So we have our back rock for and one, two, three and one, two, three and one, two, three and one, two, three and one. All right, so leaders, we are gonna start from an open break position. So instead of two, having our two hands, we have our left hand, followers right hand. We have our back rock for and one. We're gonna step to the side for two, cross in front for three. Now we're gonna have the followers other hand, the left hand at this point, we have a side rock. And one, we cross in front for two, side for three, rotate back, and one, repeat, side, cross, and one, cross, side, and one. So we did that all with counts. We have a one, two, three, a one, two, three, a one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. Miss Megan. Followers. We're gonna rock back, so we have and one. We're gonna go side for two, back for three. Now we rock again. And one, forward two, side three. And we're back to where we started. So we have and one, side two, back three. And one, forward two, side three, and one. All right, so sliding doors, how do we lead them? We are going to start in our open break position. So we're, again, we're going to start with leaders left, followers right, and Miss Megan, it's good for the followers to what? Keep their arms up and not close to their body. Yes. So we need a little bit of space in between the arm and the body itself to make sure that we can grab the other hand. Grab or take, that's probably you know, a better word. Take. So we have and one, two, three. I'm going to start to come down the arm to catch the hand before we do that rock. And one, two. Three and one, two, three and one, two, three and one. So again, leaders, not in a creepy way, but I'm gonna come and make sure that I have a connection to grab the hand, and then on the other side, connection to grab that hand. Now for the grapevine. You've probably seen this a lot of places. It's pretty cool. So we have and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. All right, leaders, let's talk about how to do this cool move. So this does start from a closed position. From here, we have a side rock. So we have and one, we step two back for three, then we have and one. We're gonna step across the track for two, side for three. Now, let's go ahead and do that one more time. First half, 
We have, oops, sorry, closed position. We have and one, two, three, and one, two, three. We repeat that. And one, two, three, and one. Step across, two, three, and one. Followers. <clears throat> All right, followers. So we are going to be in closed position. We're going to rock back. So we have and one. We're going to go to the side for two, back for three. Then we have and one, crossing in front, going forward for two, turning to the side for three. This is where we're going to start over. So we have and one, side two, back three. And one is side forward. Then we go forward, turn, and one. All right, so how do we do this? This one starts from a closed position. Everything else that we've done has started either from an open break or from a two hand hold. So this is slightly different, going back to the basics a little bit. So we're gonna do a basic first and then we're gonna get into this. So we have and one, two, three. We have and one, we're gonna step to the side for two and I'm gonna open my partner's left side a little bit to step back for three. Then we step to the side and one to cross in front. Leaders, I'm gonna step across the track here. Miss Megan's gonna step in between my feet for two. Then we rotate to the side for three. So let's do that one more time. A little bit more real time, basic first. And one, two, three, and one. Side, cross, back, and side. Two, three, and one. We're gonna repeat the same thing going back the other way. Two, cross back for three, then and one. Step across two, three, and one. So two times in a row without stopping. We have and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one. Ms. Megan, anything to think about? Uh, this hand, you want to make sure that you keep uh, a good frame in your arm followers so that you can feel the connection there. And then you also want to make sure that you keep good connection in this hand on your back so you can tell when you're being let open or closed. That being said, leaders, make sure that you are <coughs> rotating your upper body to allow your follower to know which way they need to go. If you liked what you saw and you liked those five hustle moves, go ahead and click the box up top. We've got way more hustle moves for you. We've got intermediate, beginner, everything you need to know and more for hustle. And if you want to learn other awesome dances, head on over to Social Dance Online.